Oh. Is this the infamous double Crucible Knight fight? So this actually isn't so bad, because they have two movesets that actually do kind of work together. Um, and the, the room is big enough that you can separate them. You've got the pillars, like... This doesn't seem so bad. I don't know. This might be really rough in melee. No special tail, though. Okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. This is going to take fucking ages, isn't it? Why is everything terrible? Last time, we arrived in Leyndal, and I said, today, we're going to go through the whole of Leyndal. And, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, by the way, I just noticed, that's like a giant spear thing. It's like a lightning spear of some kind. That's cool. And then there's this dragon. Now, as always, it begs the question, is that a deliberately constructed statue? Or is that a giant dragon that was genuinely turned to stone in the middle of the city? You can never tell with these games. What's with all these... All these doors and windows sealed up with, like, golden wax? And the whole place is covered in ash. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say the city is probably pretty dead. I don't think there's a lot of... Oh, hello. I think... Okay. That kind of confirms it, doesn't it? Oh. That's not the way I came. That's the way I came. Okay, so we've got a random ladder here. Oh, I'm gonna get so fucking lost in this place. I'm gonna get so fucking lost in this place. It's not even a matter of branching paths. It's just that this is a huge open area, which is so fucking hard to deal with. Problem is, I I feel like I want to follow one path to its completion and then do another one, but I feel like these paths don't... That's, that's the wrong way to think about this. These paths don't follow to, like, completion. They just are, you know? Hey. Shortcut of some kind. Oh, it's one of these fucking omen boys. I can kill him from on top of the... <laughs> I can kill him from up here. <laughs> Hello, omen killer. Don't you wish that instead of omen killer, you were sorcerer killer? I make no apologies for that pun. Lionel set? Okay. Do I know Lionel? Have I met him? I was gonna say, so this this looks like something relating to fear. Earthsteel dagger. Holy proof dried liver, which by the way is one of the dumbest names for an item. Holy proof holy proof. Ho holy proof. They couldn't have, Couldn't have come up with a better name than fucking holy proof. Good lord. Oh my god, I can climb on the dragon. Is this dragon gonna come to life? Am I gonna have to fight this fucking dragon? And by fight this fucking dragon, I mean I am completely 100 percent down to fight this dragon. I, I mean, sign me up. I want to fight that dragon. As long as it's not the ancient dragon from Dark Souls 2. That that would be bad. Because that is a trash boss. One of the worst bosses they've ever made, I think. So this looks like a drop that I can't get back up. So... Should we go climb the dragon? Nah, fuck it. Let's keep going. We can, we'll, we'll climb the dragon at some point. Why is the screen shaking? Oh! oh are, are you fucking fuck kidding me? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just fucking dead, isn't it? Just a giant fucking magic tax. Oh, you fucking... More passageways. I Fine, okay, I'll check out the well. Oh, cool. It's just this. Nice. Hey. See, this is what I like in my passageways. Short and sweet was what I was about to say. And then it turns out there's more. What the fuck is this now? Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Well, that's quite the name. So this is the whole zone. I want to find a bonfire in here and then we'll leave. Um, this is like a whole big thing. What the fuck is that? Let's kill it from up here. Oh. Tough as shit is what it is. Oh, it's one of those guys. Oh. Gee, those are just the basic enemy. Okay, I just need to find a bonfire and then we'll leave. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. We'll come back here later. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. I just... There's something slightly off about that name. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's something slightly off about it. It's kind of funny. I actually think I might want to switch up and give myself more, even more magic blasts. I'm 5 and 8 right now. I might drop down to like 9 and 4 or 10 and 3 or something. Because I've used 2 health flasks and 7 magic flasks. Have I been down there? Unclear. 
Damn. I don't actually remember. That's not great. In which case, let's go back and scale the dragon wing. I mean, there might just be nothing up here. But, uh, let's see if we can actually get somewhere by climbing the dragon's wing. This feels like there should be a thing, right? This feels like there should be something up here. Yeah, there we go. Told you. Told you there'd be something up here. Thank you, FromSoft. Some games I've played would have something like that and then just wouldn't bother putting anything up there. And occasionally FromSoft does that, but most of the time they don't. Oh! We have a lever, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lever. And you know what that means. I mean, shit's about to happen. What does this do? Because it's given me, like, a vantage point. To Maybe see some... Door that's, like, directly below you. Could be? Oh, could well be, actually, yeah. I might have just opened the main entrance. You might. Damn, okay. That might have been a thing that I needed to do. Alright, I'm going to assume that that's what I did. Let's just kill these guys while we can. And then we can murder this one. I wonder how tough he is compared to um, the real Kindred. I'm going to assume he doesn't respawn. Looks like it's the same, uh, same weapon setup. Which is interesting. Oh. Oh my god, did he just click through the floor now? Let's, yeah, so this is a terrible place to be fighting him. Because he's, like, glitching down the fucking stairs. Oh, shit, wrong one. Well, he doesn't hit anywhere near as hard as the, uh, the other guy that I was fighting. Same moveset, though. Although apparently I've forgotten how to dodge some of his attacks. Why why do they keep putting these giant enemies on these in these zones where they're just gonna glitch? It's really irritating. Like, why am I fighting him in this tiny little enclosed yeah, space he where he's gonna glitch up and down the stairs? He hates you, Chris. I like how its attack just kinda goes backwards and just misses you if you stand still. That spinning attack there. Oh, well now there's a fucking giant tree that we have to deal with as well. And not an erd tree, I don't think. This just looks like a normal tree. Maybe, I guess, this is like a minor erd tree kind of thing. Can I get up here? Uh, this doesn't look like cl it's climbable, does it? No. Unfortunate. Or fortunate, because it means I don't have to keep going. <laughs> I don't have more branching paths. Ah! Oh. Uh, okay? I, I guess we're doing this now? What? That's a hell of a boss to just come out of fucking nowhere. I mean, it's worth noting, he is like a spirit. So this may not be the real Godfrey. Especially given we don't know what happened to the real Godfrey. Well, I don't, anyway. Would we know that he was exiled for some reason? Was he exiled? I don't think I've heard that. I've heard nothing about Godfrey. Um, I think that that was something that came the conversation Uh, I don't think I had that conversation, Duncan. I don't believe I've... Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. That'll do. Just kill him. Well, if that was Godfrey, then uh, he deserved to be exiled. Oh. I just got an achievement for beating him. Was that actually Godfrey? Was he supposed to be that straightforward? Or was that just... Yeah. The build? Uh, well, probably... He just cut, that just kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, because I was, I was under the impression that he was going to be the final boss. So if that really was Godfrey... But again, it feels weird that he was, like, a spirit? Rather than actually Godfrey? Like, the actual person? That felt a little odd. Yeah, so we're exploring back around. Again, we can walk back to the bonfire near... Godfrey if you want to proceed. But yeah, I was I was absolutely under the impression that Godfrey was going to turn out to be the fucking final boss. So if that really was Godfrey, which given that I just got the achievement suggests that it was. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Regression alone reveals secrets. Well, that's incredibly cryptic and I've no idea what it means. Um, oh, hang on a minute. 
Maybe I do. Maybe I do know what it means. Do I have a gesture called regression? That looks like that. Nope. I do not! Um, it's possible that that's what they're referencing. That you need to do like a regression gesture here. You know, T-pose, assert dominance, all that stuff. But I don't have the gesture, so we don't need to care. Yeah, that was... That Godfrey fight came completely out of fucking nowhere. I just I just walk into a room and then suddenly it's like, hey, it's this super important character from the lore and he's just here and oh, whoops, he's dead now. What the fuck was that? Oh, it, oh it was so strange. So strange. Oh, well, hang on, let's see if I can interact with this statue. Because I guess I didn't walk up to it before. Because this thing looks different. It's like a different design. Looks kind of weird. Oh, what the shit? There's an item there. Is this one of those things where you have to cut it down? Or can I collect it from here? Oh, wow. Golden Order Principia. That is an awesome way to deliver a, uh, a magic tome, isn't it? Obviously, that's going to be miracles. Fucking miracle builds. Okay. And then, yeah. So, this is the this is the way to progress. Which, obviously, we're not doing. Um. So, cool. In which case, let's quickly rest at this bonfire. And then walk back down to somewhere around here and see what door we opened when we pulled that lever. Um, oh, this, no, hang on, this is the wrong way. I want the upper area. Which I guess would be... Oh, what? Fuck! Oh my god, he comes back! Okay, never mind, let's just, yep. Wrong place to be standing in thought, I think. Oh, sorry, hang on. I meant to go back to the round table hold. This is something I forgot to do. I meant to go back to the round table hold at the very start of this stream. Let's go do that. So I wanted to see if we can speak to this guy because I found one of his curses. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. Uh, I mean, I've got one. Yes. My seed bed, it was a brief rest. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. In the shunned thing of me. The subterranean shutting grounds. Okay, cool. Oh, Jesus. Calm down. Um. I don't... I don't want you to do that. That doesn't sound particularly pleasant. On the other hand, it is content. This guy's dead, right? Oh, there we go. Roger's bell bearing, as well as his full equipment. Nice. And a letter. Ooh, what is this? More plot? More plot? I forgot to tell you, but it seems... D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron, and it's said that he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot. Have I encountered that guy? Uh, no, I don't think so. In Nokron? I thought I explored Nokron fully. Okay, we may have to go back there. Oh, woe is me. I'm gonna get fucking distracted again. So, for starters, I think now is a sensible time to uh, take a quick break and end the first YouTube video. I don't actually know how much I did there. I mean, hey, we beat fucking Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. That's a thing. That's a thing that happened. He just he just showed up for some reason. But yeah, other than that, um, that will be the end of the YouTube video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, go fuck yourself.